my dad was diagnosed with uh, cancer. And he had brain cancer and he was 79 or 80, close to 80 when he was diagnosed. And I was driving back and forth from the Ozarks down to South Arkansas, it was about 300 miles. I've not very ever been a great maintenance man. <laughs> on my house, on my motorcycles, on my cars, I always depend on somebody else. And I had uh, evidently let the back tire on my motorcycle, but I used to put a lot of miles. I had a, an older model, a soft tail Harley that I put thousands and thousands of miles. And I had a guy do my, doing my maintenance, but evidently he had luck, looked at my tire. And uh, so I was coming home and I had a lot on my mind. I was coming home to Arkansas. I was thinking about my dad. I must, of course, being a pastor of the church, you've always got something to think about. Uh, I had my, my, I was actually running a small department at that point, and uh, I uh, was coming to a little uh, place there out in the country, no, no traffic around, out in the middle of the woods, actually kind of swampy. And uh, I just was gonna uh, run it up a little bit. So I was running about 100, and uh, maybe 105, 110. And that still small voice um, that we've talked about several times said, slow down. Just don't try this at home. Just don't try this at home. And so as I let off, the back tire exploded. And I was at right around probably 100, maybe 90, something like that. And I came over this hill, back tire, and if, what, if you've ever been on a motorcycle and you get a flat, it starts doing this right here. And I start fighting this thing, and I'm, and oh, I'm praying. Oh, I'm praying, because I, I am, I, in my mind, I've already wrecked it. Coming toward a place where there's three bridges in a row, and coming across this way on the bridge is a long truck. So that thing's coming this way, I'm going this way, and literally I am just terrified. Praying, crying out to God, God help me, God help me, God help me, God help me. Thought I might be seeing Jesus soon. We missed each other somehow on that bridge. I go to the other side of the bridge, I pull over, finally get stopped, and I pull over and get off that thing, put down the uh, kickstand, and pull up the, a family pulls up behind me. It's actually a man and his wife. This girl is crying. She is weeping. And she says, are you okay? And I go, yes, ma'am, I am. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm okay. And I started kind of laughing like I am now. And she's crying. I said, are you okay? She said, I've never seen anything like that in my life. And I said, well, I've never had anything like that in my life either. Coming down that hill before that happened, I was so worried about my dad, my mom, all that situation down there. I was very worried about my kids, what I, how, what's I, my, my work, my church. I had all of these pressures, pressures. But all of a sudden, I realize that this life is a vapor. And my life is in his hand. And I don't know if you've ever had this happen before, but you, you keep downloading stuff on the computer, you keep messing with the computer, and before long, it needs to be restarted. And here's the deal, that's what that was for me. Because I'm standing on there on the side of the road, I'm gonna be late, I'm hot, I'm fighting mosquitoes, and I could care less because I had a restart. And I realized that I was in his hands. And if I'm in his hands, then all these other things are in his hands. You are calling down to the river.
again I've got doubts in my hair And I wish I could feel your ghostly wings You who say you're steady and kind But this heart holds the view I'm greedy for his presence. I'm greedy for that bread and for that wine. I'm greedy. I'm ready to come home every week. I'm ready to say, Lord, you know, here, I'm, I'm yours.